I have lived for six years rent free. Do you know how much I've saved? I've saved approximately $86,000 between that and about $200,000 depending on the area and depending on the time because six years ago rent wasn't as expensive and depending on what the average is. I think the average now is $1,700 a month in the United States. That the average rent for a one bedroom. And that's what I would probably go with, maybe two. But yeah, six years ago was a little bit cheaper. So I've saved anywhere from $86,000 to $200,000. Oh my gosh. I'm Minnie Van Lee and I have lived in my minivan for six years now. And I just love it. Now, this lifestyle isn't for everybody, but I do I do kind of teach people on, on my channel, you know, how to live comfortably in style with everything that you need. Now, a lot of you already know that because you've been watching me for a long time. Some of you are fairly new. You already know I live in my minivan. But if you're new, I just wanted to tell you that, that <laughs> for six years I've lived in my minivan and I have a good time doing it. Right now, um, my travel partner, Paul, Paul, you want to say hi? <laughs> there you are with Abby. Hi, oh, that's a good, that's a good um, view. We just found a new trailhead and I'm going to have a little bit of a breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> but this is our life. We find new places to go and we just stop and eat breakfast when we want to. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. Um, this is enough for me until lunch. Now at lunchtime, we find, you know, we will go to a restaurant or we'll go to a senior center or something like that. Cause we kind of hang out in cities. We don't always go boondocking, right? right. Wonder what kind of bird that is. We could do it a 2.8 mile loop, a one and a half mile loop, or a 0.7 mile loop. That kind of appeals to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I first started in my minivan six years ago, I had a decent savings, right? And, but I had to buy my vehicle. And I bought it on Craigslist for $3,800. This was six years ago. Well, I went through a little bit of money at first because I was always trying something new. I think I went through a couple of rolls of Reflectix because a lot of the, the um, veteran nomads use Reflectix. Mm -hmm. I thus don't use Reflectix. It just bends up and you have to buy new. It's not cheap. I wasted money buying things I really didn't need. Well, you know, Lee, <laughs> I forget the author's name, but there is a very handy book that is available that tells, <laughs> that gives you handy lists on things that you really need. Yes. Why didn't you consult that? What's the name of the book? Uh, how to live in a minivan by, um, what was the name? The Minivan Lee Way? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. The book is right <laughs> there, yeah. Well, I didn't have that book, but what I did was I, I wrote that book a couple of years ago 
for you so you don't have to waste your money the way I did doing right. things that a lot of the vet, you know, no offense, but a lot of the veterans says, oh, you need this or you need this, you need this. I wasted money. Yeah. I really did because I didn't need them. I really didn't. So if you're thinking about this lifestyle or <sighs> actually it's, it's a way to organize your life. So the book works for all <laughs> kinds of <laughs> situations. It's not just minivans, it's SUVs, RVs, high tops. Paul, it, what do you tell everybody what you drive? Well, I, one of the first things I did because uh, shortly after I met you is to get the book for myself. Okay. And I got the, uh, the e-book so that I'd have it on my phone and available all the time. And I think I saved a lot of money because I didn't think, well, the so-and-so has this and so-and-so has that, so I better have that too. No, if it wasn't in the book, I didn't bother with it, and I was never lacking a thing, so it worked out really well for me. I know. We met, Paul and I met in Quartzsite, um, what, two, almost two and a half years ago. Yeah. Two and a half years ago. So. And then we just became really good friends. Then we became good buddies. Um, yeah. And, and travel we, buddies. We're travel buddies and we travel together. Yeah. yeah. And then he's got Abby. He's got Abby girl here. Abby. Now, what's it like traveling with a, a dog? What's that? What's it like traveling with a dog? Well, it, it's there's a lot of responsibility. You, you've got to... If you're going to be in a, in a spot that is hot, uh, like Arizona, not so much here in northern Arizona, but if it's southern Arizona, you've always got to be aware if you're going to go into a store, you need to do that first thing in the morning when it's still cool out yeah. and things of that nature. You've got to carry her food, more water than you would normally need for one person. So there's all kinds of things to think about. And I know so many people love their animals, whether it's a dog or a cat or a raccoon, whatever, I don't know. But there's a lot of responsibility and you constantly are thinking about, I can't leave her in the, in the van when it starts to warm up and get uncomfortable. Uh, as a matter of fact, I understand, Lee, that in Arizona, you can well, get in trouble. Tucson. In I know Tucson. Tucson. Okay. In Tucson. You can get in trouble if you leave an animal in a hot vehicle. Yeah, if somebody yeah. calls the police on you. Yeah. yeah. Well, how we travel is we kind of stay in cities a little bit. So I know a lot of you'd say, well, you don't have rent, but you do have a lot of uh, fuel that you have to put in your gas tank. And with the fuel prices, yeah. But we don't. We spend, don't you think we spend about the same as anybody else who's living in a city? I would think so. Right now, Lee, we're only a half mile outside of a shopping center. Right, right. And we're in this beautiful area. And so, I mean, a half mile, half yeah. mile here, half mile back. We're not traveling a lot. Uh, I mean, we do take little side trips. We go, we're going to go up to the Grand Canyon at some point while we're up here. It's yep. probably a lot of times. And it's uh, 78 miles to the Grand Canyon South Rim from here. Big deal, huh? That, that's not a huge deal. And no. And that's to get to one of the uh, wonders of the world. So yeah, it's a nice place to be. And as far as food goes, if you can plan you're eating out pretty good. You know, we do cooking inside our rigs. We have butane stoves. And of course we make our own coffee. Coffee can be really expensive, yep. unless you're going to McDonald's, but if you're going to Starbucks and all those fancy ones, but we make our own coffee in the morning. And sometimes we, and we have our own snacks and, and they're nutritious snacks. I mean, just yesterday we had Fritos and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> With cheese dip, yes, but we don't. We do um, veggies and things like that too. Yeah, and but we're in the city. What we do is we go boondocking and then we come back to the city. And in the city, we've got grocery stores, we've got restaurants, we've got a senior centers that we can go uh, hang out with other seniors. And I will mention because we've been doing this six years and we go to Quartzsite, we've met so many people. We're actually, a lot of us, our friends, we sort of like follow each other around and go, oh, hey, you know, um, 
Oh, there you are. You're here now. Yeah, we're expecting a couple other people to be coming up um, to this area pretty soon too. So it's a fun lifestyle. It's not for everybody, but I do want to mention how it kind of works. How much do you think you've saved, Paul? <laughs> oh, since you in a couple years. Oh, I can't can't imagine. Yeah. Uh, I haven't added it up, but it's been in the thousands. Thousands of no dollars. Yeah. About it. Now we did this on purpose, and a lot of you will want to do this on purpose. But there's a lot of you out there that are that are forced into this because rents are going sky high out of this world. And a lot of you, I saw a poll that literally, and I'm not, I'm not kidding. It said that on a poll, I don't know how big the sample was, but 71% said within the six months, they are worried that they're going to be evicted. Can you imagine? I get a lot of comments. They tell me your story in comments, but I get a lot of comments up from people. Just recently, I got one that said, um, that they were forced out of their apartment because they were going to sell it. That happens all the time. These people are buying up property. There's all these new, um, what are they, th these new workshop classes? Oh, how to own property, how to make your living owning property, right? Well, there's a lot of people doing it, but what they're doing is they want a quick, they buying the property and they want a quick profit and they're making rents go sky high so they don't understand that a lot of them no offense but a lot of them are hurting other people especially seniors and and younger people who don't have that savings anymore or don't have that good backup going on and a lot of seniors wages can go up but the um social security isn't going and you know i think this last one was the biggest one in like what forever and they say that even that one didn't keep up with the cost of oh no no so inflation so so seniors are hurting and they're getting um evicted and then some of the senior <coughs> low income housing a lot of them are reporting there's a lot of violence going on that there are people who are are willing to prey on seniors hanging around the building often so um, not to scare you, but these are this is going on right now. So, can I let's do a couple updates for everybody, okay? Because I haven't had a chance to do this. Planet Fitness. I mentioned in a previous video that you can only go to your if you have a black card, you can only visit other other than your home gym that you signed up with. I said 10 times in three months, but it's really 10 times in one month. And a lot of the um, gyms don't don't force that. So just know that it could be forced, but a lot of them don't force that. Now, right? I asked them here. Uh, I went in there yesterday and talked to a young lady and I said, what's the deal? Is it 10 times a month, 10 times every three months or what? She said it's 10 times a month, but she said, we really don't pay much attention to that. Don't worry about that. But that's here because we have encountered where they say, yeah. you can go 10 times, that's it, you're done. <laughs> they were like really uh, forceful on that. Now, as far as I talked about canceling your membership, if you need to. Well, I did talk to the, the gym here and they said, actually, the whole contract of Planet Fitness everywhere in this country is you have to write a letter and mail it snail mail. <laughs> Who does that anymore? Well, Planet Fitness does it. They want to make it as difficult as possible. And if you watch that video that I did on that, and I think in the title it says Planet Fitness, um, they really did screw me over. They they pretended they didn't get the letter when I know they did because we sent it the sa exact same day. So anyways, Lee, I should mention that uh, with Medicare, uh, there if you have, I believe it's called, which I do, I have it, and I can't remember the name for sure, Supplemental Medicare. I think it's, it's one of the ABCD parts or something. But there is a program called Silver Sneakers. And with Silver Sneakers, which I have, and I yes. have the supplemental insurance. But you have to get, I'm just gonna mention, I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. 
people say if you're on Medicare, no, I'm on Medicare, but you have to sign up for a supplemental. You have to find one that you sign up for yep. and you don't know the name of yours. Right. Okay. But it's, there's like, Aetna, or I know that's one, and the, but you have to sign up for that. It might cost, it might not cost, right? right. Okay. Right. That's right. And so there is a way to, to get it free. So you don't have to worry about all this stuff at Planet Fitness. All you have to do is go in and register. And yeah. you may have to call the uh, insurance company that you're dealing with to make sure everything's okay. Yeah. But from there on out, I don't have to worry about it. Right. You know? When you ask me, is it 27, 28 bucks? Oh, that's right. You don't sure know. I yeah. I don't have to pay it. Right. Great. But I've had numerous people say, well, Lee, don't you know that if you're on Medicare? That's not true. You have to sign up for a, sup a Medicare supplemental insurance company. Which covers all kinds of other things. Right. You so, might want one that, that, that takes care of medications and things like that. The dentist. Right, but there are some that don't cover silver sneakers, so you have to ask about that. I'm not on any meds, and neither is Paul, so we don't really have to like spend a lot of money on a program or supplemental plan <clears throat> that has medications. That's but right. yeah, we're some pretty healthy seniors, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Fortunately, and what's great is this lifestyle. I mean, this is we're outside a lot. People say, "Well, why aren't you boondocking?" Come on, man, get out there and get out into the nature. Oh, contraire, we're in nature every single day. We go to parks. We're out here, like I said, half a mile from, you know, right there where there was a, um, a mall. Yeah, so yeah, we're in nature quite a bit. Well, we gotta get Abby out, right? Yep. Okay, so that's my update on Planet Fitness. I got a couple other day updates to do from previous videos but i'll do that next time okay well oh, oh it's okay come here be quiet there's somebody on go go to do the trail what trail are you gonna do okay okay <laughs> well we're gonna end up saying goodbye this if you have any questions about this lifestyle go to comments and please subscribe, by the way. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And share this video with your family and friends. This is a pretty cool lifestyle. Not for everybody, but it does work for a lot of us. And yep. if you have to do this, well, I think eventually, I've had people say eventually, they learn to like it. So if you liked, if you camped as a child, I think you're going to like this. And don't forget, you're going to be saving that rental money. <laughs> it's not going to be... Lord knows how much every month. So. Yep. Save the money. Yeah. Okay. All right. The book. We got the book. And how to live in a minivan. The minivan leeway. And it's on Amazon. Just type in minivan lee. I'll come up. There you go. Well, I hope you have a good day. Thanks for spending time with us today. Well, what trail are we going to go on? The short one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we got some li little bit of walking to do. Love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Are you puppy? Oh, who are you filming? Who are you filming? Yeah, I thought that was obvious.